New information about what was going through the mind of the one October shooter before he opened fire on a concert crowd, killing 58 people. One of Stephen Paddock's brothers says he lost a significant amount of his wealth in the days before the shooting. Mystery's Nathan O'Neill with what else his brother is revealing. And well, the last time Bruce Paddock spoke to his brother Stephen was about a decade ago. He wishes they had stayed in better touch and maybe he could have helped prevent the massacre. It was always Steve. Didn't care about anybody else. Bruce Paddock says he spoke to his brother about 10 years back when Bruce, who was estranged from his family, called his mother. She called him and he called me and we talked for about 10 minutes. He says the conversation did not go well. I'd had just about as much of his as I could listen to and that was it. Talking about him flying his airplane to Vegas and uh, gallivanting. He didn't hear about Stephen again until he saw his brother's face on television. This surveillance video shows Stephen Paddock walking suitcase after suitcase into Mandalay Bay, building up an arsenal in his Las Vegas hotel room to kill 58 people and injure hundreds more. I called my mom and my mom answered the phone and I said, uh, is that Steve? And she said, I guess so. Bruce remembers the brother who made millions in real estate ventures. Investigators say his fortune may have played a role. I lost a significant amount of his monetary wealth in close proximity to one October, and that may have a driving factor associated with it. Bruce says a possible motive behind the shooting, losing everything. His dream to have everything. NBC News confirms Paddock was spending thousands of dollars gambling daily and wired a large sum of money to his girlfriend to build a home in her native Philippines. The loss of the ability to control everything because he was always the controlling brother. The brother responsible for the largest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. I don't know how to say I'm sorry enough for what's happened. And Bruce Paddock faces his own legal problems, charged with the possession of child porn. Bruce denies those claims and is headed to trial within the next few weeks.